What's up with you folks, man? I'm back immediately. But this won't be posted till tomorrow. I gotta let y'all soak in the good shit before I post the bad shit, man. So, you know, we're gonna get right to it so that way it's fresh in our mind. We just got the good shit out the way. So, about the bad, man. The bad? <laughs> I might need to turn this light off. I need this to be like a horror movie. But no, for real, the bad, like the bad is just, for one, the bad is the, it's the pain and the suffering. You know what they say? Pain is just weakness leaving the body. And then you got people like David Goggins that just be like, if you're feeling pain or you, you're scared of the pain, you're just a bitch. Man, fuck all that. That shit hurt, bro. The shit hurt. I ain't going to sit here and lie to you like I'm some tough, strong, uh, invincible, impenetrable, uh, you know what I'm saying, colossus juggernaut type motherfucker. The shit hurt. There's no way around it, bro. This shit hurt. All that running, all that pushing, all that swinging, jumping, climbing, rolling, crawling. Bro, everything you can think of. Any activity you can think of, anything you can do with your body, you're going to do it a lot. You know what I'm saying? Lifting, swinging, bro. Twisting, bro. Everything, you're going to do it a lot, bro. And it hurts. It fucking hurts. But, you know what's kind of funny? As much as all the shit you do, you hardly ever sore. Like, you don't really get that sore in in, in the military. It's, it's probably because they make you do it so often. You don't really get that sore. Like, it's some, it's some sore nights, you know what I'm saying? It's some sore days, but it don't never really be like that. The sores I've been probably was in boot camp when I got the peanut butter shot, and then I had to run. If you don't know what the peanut butter shot is... <laughs> I ain't going to tell you. <laughs> but you get the peanut butter shot, bro, and then you get sore and shit. Fuck it, I'm going to tell you. Peanut butter shot is a long-ass shot that goes in your ass. <laughs> Not up your ass, but in your ass, like on the side, cheek type shit. But, yeah, that's one of the terrible things about this shit is there's a lot of suffering, pain, physically pain, physical pain. There's a lot of mental pain. If you if you got a, a weak mental, they definitely going to strengthen it, so... Mental pain as well They gonna yell at you They gonna degrade you um, They gonna put you down Thousands of times Gonna tell you you don't know what the fuck you're doing Thousands of times They gonna tell you that you will never know how to do it at that rate They gonna tell you that You probably shouldn't have joined And you should have did something else uh, All type of shit But the good thing is they will build you back up But before they do A lot of the times You know what I'm saying Every time you know what I'm saying? You probably one of those people like, yeah, I don't care what people say about me and shit. Like, it don't it don't hurt. I don't mind it. It don't bother me. But I'm I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. A lot of damn. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> hey, don't be laughing if I ring like, bro, I need to get a real one and shit. Like this one of the small ones and shit. Got all that disco shit on it. But a lot of times like that shit hurt. And it hurt bad. You know what I mean? And a lot of people think they can take that, but they say that until they get it. Like, I'm a person that can try to take a lot of trolling and people talk crazy a lot of that, but it's been times when they done got to me. I done shed a tear. Like I said in my boot camp story, I done shed a tear doing push ups. You know what I'm saying? And they get down, get in my ear, tell me he owned me. Like, I'm some type of slave, although he was a Mexican. <laughs> but it hurt it. You know what I'm saying? My face a little dry and shit, but. It is what it is. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? You just roll with the punches, bro. Physical and mental pain is one of the, the big things, bro. Uh, emotional pain as well. <laughs> a lot of people get um broken hearts in the military from marrying too early, having children with the wrong one. Um, you know what I'm saying? We tend to get plastered drunk and um, make bad decisions. You know what I'm saying? So... Hey, that's it. Uh, another bad thing is, um, I would say the the constant, the constant need or feeling like you have to be perfect. Um, it's always in the back of your head. You feel like you need to be perfect sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's it's stressful to feel like you're doing something wrong or you're looking wrong or your shoulders down or you're slouching. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's always the constant feel to be like, I need to be, you know, like, in the perfect stature type shit. So, 
that could be very stressful. Um, another bad thing is dumb shit. You do a lot, a lot of dumb shit. Oh my god, like you do some dumb shit that's like, bro, a fucking dog could have figured out a faster way. A dog could have seen that the faster way to do this shit was this, but we gonna choose this this right here that takes manpower, bro. Like you could have did this using like Mesopotamian methods, bro. Like using a lever and a like a stick and a rock, but we are gonna use arms and legs. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't understand. Uh, you run into a lot of douchebag type of bosses. Um, since you have so many bosses, like, you don't have, like, a, you have, like, a specific boss, but everybody rank above you as your boss, you know what I'm saying? So, it, it, you meet a lot of douchebags that, that are above you, you know what I'm saying? That could tell you what to do, kind of. So, it, it's, uh, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a lot to thread. Um, other than that, uh. I ain't gonna lie, like, a lot of the shit that's bad, bro, like, I thought I was gonna have a lot to say to this shit, but a lot of the shit, you just gotta experience it, bro, like, you just gotta do it to know, like, cause if I tell you why a lot of people quit the military or the Marine Corps, like, I retention rate his ass, because it's so much bullshit, bro, like, the bullshit is number one, like, anybody that's watching this, that is also in the Marine Corps, that is also in the military, you know, 80% of the reasons that people get out is just because of bullshit. And then you ain't quitting because it's too hard. You quitting because of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? The Marine Corps probably number one for bullshit. Bro, like, so much. I can't stop saying the word, bro. It's so much, bro. It's, it's unbearable. You know what I'm saying? What else? Um. Uh, for the Marine Corps specifically, like, we don't have that many women, which is a good thing and a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? The good thing about it is not too many distractions, hard to get in trouble because of women, you know what I'm saying, fraternization and shit like that. But at the same time, it's like, damn, no women company? Like, none of my platoons ever have women in it. None of them. None of my, none of them. Like. Bro, I've been, you know what I'm saying? I ain't hugged a woman in, in a month, you know what I mean? Because I don't see none. Ain't none in the uniform around me, bro. Like, we do barely have them. And some of them, you know what I'm saying, she got a beard on some shit. In the, in the Marine Corps, you know, thick-ass mustache. You know what I'm saying? She a biker. She bench more than me. You know what I'm saying? She run faster than me. She got more testosterone than me. That's the Marine Corps, though. You know what I'm saying? We got some little, you know what I'm saying? We got some fine little shit here, too. You know what I'm saying? In, in the Marine Corps. But for the most part, bro, you got some shit that'll put you in a headlock, bro. Which, you know what I'm saying? To some people, is hot. But, you know what I'm saying? To each his own. You know what I'm saying? I ain't judging nobody. <laughs> but, yeah, that's another bad thing. Lack of women. Um, for me, anyway. Um... Cause like I said, this shit is about me. You know what I'm saying everybody, you you can drop your opinions below in the comments. You know what I'm saying, and I'll take them in consideration. Probably make a short about it, see if I agree or not, whatever. Reply, but for me, that's a big problem. Um, what else? Uh, we got damn, you ain't got that much. Okay, another thing is, even though they pay for you, like, you know, schools and stuff like that, da, 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 you pay, like, paychecks is ass, but, like, you don't get paid enough. Although, for the most part, like, in in, in a lot of cases, they pay for your food and, and your house, like, you don't pay rent and your shit like that, but, I mean, they take, like, a little bit out of your checks, like, probably, like, fucking $50 from your stay here. <laughs> but still, bro, the check don't be shit. Like, it don't be enough for the hours that you work, gang. Like, it won't add up for a while. Like, until you rank up, like, it won't add up. 
like that's that's probably a big reason people get out the military too because the hours you work the work you put in the sweat the blood some people just be like yo if i put this time and effort into a, a career like a different career that i wanted to pursue like say i want to put all this work and effort into being a fucking electrician bro i'll be making like 80 to 100 grand much faster than being in the military but like i said bro to each his own you know what i'm saying it's harder said than done um because a lot of people take comfort you know comfort into the, the military like making you do the things or keep reminding you that you have to do it and you don't have to worry about it yourself because they keep on telling you which on the other side on the civilian world you have to remember you have to get that shit done ain't nobody gonna remind you ain't nobody gonna do this maybe your fucking baby mama or something but you ain't gonna listen to her uh what else bad um Um, at the same time, how you make good friends that's fun and have a good time, uh, it becomes very hard to make, you know, to make that line because you pass them up because the Marine Corps is all about competition. So if you don't have a competitive peer, you're likely going to not be able to be peers with him for long or, or she. And if you like a girl and she isn't competitive and she doesn't rank up you better get serious with her fast or y'all won't be able to be seeing each other no more because like I said it's all about competition bro so if they not climbing the ranks you gotta leave them behind you have to or you can get paperwork for it bro like if I'm out drinking with a fucking Lance Corporal and I'm a sergeant you know what I'm saying which is it happens sometimes but I can't just be Hanging out with this motherfucker buddy buddy every day is it, it, it becomes a conflict of interest. It's like um maybe showing favoritism or trying to help this person get promoted or some shit like that. Um, so if you got a friend that's in the military and y'all both in the same branch and y'all wanna kick it for a while, tell that motherfucker he suck from now and then and that you'll rank up before him and you bet he can't beat you and shit like that. Cause you wanna inspire him. Cause you don't want them, you don't want to leave them behind. So it's a competitive spirit, which is good. is 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 good to be competitive, um, amongst your friends. But it's just bad when they don't rank up. So try to try to try to get your buddies to rank up. Cause it's it sucks when you gotta you know be the boss of your buddy. You know what I'm saying? Instead of your buddy with your buddy. You know what I mean? So that's ass sometimes too. Uh. And then it's like when I see other female Marines that's hot, they be too low ranked. For me, they be too low ranked. Like they probably they of age for sure. Let's get that out of the way. I'm only I'm I'm young, so. But they be low ranked, bro. And then the ones that's my rank be like married and you know getting fat or some shit, or they body just uh, 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 or they be like stuck up and shit like that. Uh, and then you get to meet them, and then you like, oh, they be fuck, you know, some shit like that. So <laughs> it worked like that. What else, bro? Let me get. Let me know what else. Um, the field. <laughs> this is where I'm into that. Okay, so a lot of people like the field. That grunt work and shit. That infantry work. I hate it. I despise everything about the field, bro. I hate sleeping in a tent. I hate bunking with bugs. I hate, you know what I'm saying, sleeping with bugs. And I, I don't like beetles and, 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 you know what I'm saying, Timon and Pumbaa sleeping in my fucking tent with me and shit. So that's a very large, large fucking con about this shit. You, every so now and then, you have to sleep outside. Like, you have to. Um, You got to sleep with the bugs, bro. You got to. You know what I'm saying? Wash up in the creek. I done washed up in the creek before. Um, I done went weeks without showering. Just me and baby wipes. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Porter Johns fucking stink. And then usually they get so hot. You damn near pass out trying to take a shit. The shit sucks, bro. 
Then not to mention the worst part about it is, can you take a guess? Oh, I can't hear you. You know, that's the door method. That's the blues clues method. But you eat a, the MREs, gang. Like, the MREs is nasty. A lot of people like them. I don't. I hate them. And then I see people eat them cold and people drink the main meals like fucking water. Bruh, them fucking MREs, the brown bag of foods, they fucking nasty. I'm talking about all of them. They got pizza, spinach, um, beef ravioli, uh, chicken chunks, creamy fettuccine, beef stew, uh, spaghetti and meatballs, um, uh, beef burrito, all that shit nasty, bruh. I don't give a fuck which one you talking about. All of them nasty, bro. I don't want none of them. They all nasty. And then... Motherfuckers be eating like three of them a day, bro. You hella nasty, bro. Shit nasty, bro. That's probably the worst part of this shit, bro. Like, I like to eat good food, bro. And, and that fucking bag food. And Marie, and Marie shit is disgusting. I heat all mine up. If I eat them, I heat them up. But I ain't ate one in like two years. And I don't plan on eating one ever again. You know what I'm saying? But I see people eat them cold. And that's just fucking trifling. But that's a horrible thing about this shit. Um, What else bad about this shit? Um, ain't gonna lie, that's probably pretty much it, bro. Anything else, bro? You gotta just listen to my stories and, and take it for what you want, bro. Cause this shit be ass. This shit be ass, bro. But it be some good days, but it be some fucking horrible days. You know, all them early ass mornings you get up just to work out at 5 a.m., like I gotta do tomorrow. It, it just, it, it don't be it, bro. It, it don't be it. Um,. Hey, that's pretty much it, bro. That's pretty much it. If something else come to mind, I'll make a side video or some shit. But for right now, that's it. Uh, damn, I'm trying to think because it's, it's some shit. It's some shit. Mm. I know, I know a few people gonna look at this video like, bro, you leaving out a lot of shit, bro. There's some shit that's fucked up about that shit. Like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right, let me get off this video. I'm just yapping now. Okay, and another bad thing is that you in the military branch and you ain't got this on. If you ain't got, if you ain't got this, if this ain't the uniform you wear, then the shit probably suck worse than what I'm explaining. I'm just saying. Don't get no better than this. That bitch keep on focusing and shit on it. But yeah. Alright, we out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, bro. And let me know if I'm missing something. Let me know if I'm leaving something out. Cause I know there's gonna be a lot of military people to watch this. Let me know if I'm if I'm leaving something out that you know this ass. That you know this sucks and just makes this shit make you wanna pack your bags and skip town. Let me know below.